Nikos Bauer here again. This is going to be a really cool fly. This is one of my favorite flies. This is the Klauser with a blade in the back. So this is such a cool fly. This is a Klauser with a blade in the back and this is one hell of a perch fly. It's going to be your number one fly for perch in a little bit dirty water. It's just, I wouldn't fish perch anywhere without this fly, except France where they don't feed on anything, but otherwise. <laughs> Manchois, was that the right way? Mange moi. Yeah, something like that, like Fred said. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding guys. This is really a good one. It's very important to keep this swivel on here, even if it becomes a little bit um, bulky, but it actually makes that blade really spin well. And uh, I've also bought some of the bigger blades that you can buy in a normal tackle shop. And sometimes that also works really, really well. But keep the blades like teardropped and round because these long, small ones, they don't fish as well as these teardropped a little wider blades. So that's a good tip. I like this fluorescent bead here because it just gives that extra uh, trigger point for the fly. And in general, otherwise it's not a complicated fly. Uh, what I do here is I take two strands of flashable magnum, which I wrap the body with, and then I cover it with, with UV resin just to make it really, really durable. Because this is a fly that I expect that I it should be able to catch at least 100 fish before it's no bucktail or no feathers anymore. So, so make it durable so you can catch a lot of fish on it. Usually the fish takes when the fly is sinking down. So you have to have a straight line and be able to feel that little tick when the perch take it. We are going to tie this on the Erex NS110. I think this is a very good perch hook. Um, it's, um, it's not that expensive and it's sharp and it's a little bit thicker wire. So it's really a great hook for this kind of type of patterns. So a super cool fly, very simple to tie. So, uh, and of course, it's really bright. I like to use fluorocarbon because it's a little bit stiffer and also a tougher material. So it's not as soft as normal nylon. So we just attach the swivel here. And then we'll take these fluorescent uh, three millimeter beads here uh, as, as a nice trigger point. So we just um, make these ends tight here, pull it together. So that's basically the prep work we need and to, um, to tie on the, onto the fly. So you know, there will be a full material list and a short summary of the fly on the description down below.
And guys, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel on fly dressing. Uh, if you do that and leave a comment in the film, you have a chance to win one of these flies. So don't miss that.